You know, whenever there's a big new Apple event announcement, I actually get kind of excited because I am pretty much an Apple guy. I mean, don't get me wrong. I prefer Android over iOS. I have PCs and Macs. As a matter of fact, I got a MacBook right here on my desk and I carry an iPhone with me. Well, they just came out with a new VR headset that they call the Apple Vision Pro. And it's got a lot of people excited about it. A lot of people are buzzing about it. And could it actually impact the way we look at or go to the movies. And that is the subject of today's hotline question of the day from our friends at Mint Mobile. Listen, if you guys have a topic or question you'd like us to address on the channel or on our podcast, go ahead and call our Mint Mobile hotline anytime at 951-268-4259. And again, today's is about these new Apple headsets and can it get us to go away from the movie theaters? Check it out. Hi, John and crew. My name is Isaiah, and I was calling in to get your guys' thoughts about new technology that Tim Cook unveiled. This new Apple Vision Pro device that they're releasing seems like it could really change the way that we watch movies, especially uh, for getting a cinematic experience from your own home. It looks like, despite the fact that Apple earlier this year committed to theatrical releases, it is now releasing hardware that makes it easier to get a cinematic experience without going to the movie theater. Uh, I know this technology is super new, but it could be five years in the future, a new normal. What do you guys think this means for the future of movie theaters and the movie going experience? Bring on the filthy. All right, Isaiah, thanks a lot for calling that in. And look, I'm a big tech guy. Actually, I watch when I'm on YouTube, I watch significantly more tech related stuff on YouTube than I even do watch movie news and stuff like that on YouTube. I, I keep up with all the tech stuff. I love tech. I'm obsessed with tech. Love it. And so whenever Apple announces a brand new line of product, it's got to kind of catch your attention. Now they've tried to get headsets going before and they've never really caught on despite the fact that for at least the last decade, I've had people constantly tell me it's heads headsets are the next big thing in a year. They're going to be everywhere. They're going to be everywhere. Everybody's going to have them. Never happened. And now Apple is taking their kick at it with this thing. Now, look, I watched the keynote presentation. The new Apple Vision Pro looks very impressive for a headset. It is easily the most advanced kind of headset that's ever been out. This headset puts all the other headsets to shame. And of course, whenever a new piece of technology comes out, the question comes, hey, will this replace movie going? Well, let's go back through history a little bit here, shall we? Because throughout history of the movies and whatnot, new technology has always come along. And when that new technology come along, comes along, there's a whole slew of people saying, this marks the end of the movie going experience. Let's look at this. First, we got the television. Ooh. When the television set entered American homes, everybody said, well, that's it. Movies are now done. There, there, there's no need to go to the movies. We have screened entertainment in the home. And yet that didn't really change anything. Then when the advent of the VCR, only uh, only the oldest of people watching this will remember the battle. Be Forget the battle between uh, Blu-ray and what was it called? Uh, HD, Betamax. HD DVD. Oh, yeah. there was oh HD DVD and DVD? Yeah. Blu-ray, yeah. no, Blu-ray Blu and HD DVD. They, mm -hmm. they tried to combat to see who's going to be. Well, before the battle between Blu-ray and HD DVD, there was the battle between VHS and Betamax mm -hmm. and the home VCR. And people said, well, now we can rent movies. Now we can record it. There's, there's no need for the movie theater. The new technologies killed the movie going experience. And of course that didn't happen. Then Michael Scott would be pleased that their advent of the plasma TV yeah. came out. Plasma TV, these, these thin, beautiful pictures and they're bigger than before. They're much bigger TVs before. I remember when I got my first 40-inch TV, oh my God, mm -hmm. I thought I was, to coin an old phrase, my grandfather would say, the cock of the walk. <laughs> That's what I thought I was. King of the castle. King of the castle. <laughs> and yet, it, it didn't change. Then came along the advent of HD, which was a huge step forward, right? The difference between standard def and HD was quite big and quite significant. And at that point, people again said, well... No need to go to the movies. Now the home video experience is so good with HD. Didn't change anything. Then, of course, we graduated from VHS to DVD players. Smaller, more compact, easier, lighter, more accessible. Gave you more capabilities. Just jump through chapters and all this kind of stuff. That's the end then. We don't need the movie theaters. Didn't change anything. 
Of course, then we got the big HD version of that were Blu-ray players. Blu-ray, which dominated HD DVD, which is now, you know, lying with the fossils of the dinosaurs. But again, that didn't change anything. And even headsets themselves, right? The advent of headsets came out and people were like, well, I mean, this is, look, I can load up. It's like I'm in a movie theater and watch everything. And that didn't change anything. Then, of course, most recently, we had the advent of streaming. And streaming happened and everybody said once again, well, that's it. We don't need movie theaters because we got streaming. And even the studios thought that way, lost a lot of money. And we've heard all the studios recently say, yeah, we're going to go back to our theatrical model and then to streaming after that. That's what they did. And now we've got this new piece of technology. We now have the Apple Vision Pro. And again, for its category, it looks absolutely phenomenal for its category. A couple of things I want to mention about it, though. As a tech guy, as an Apple guy, to a degree, a couple of things I do want to mention. Now, while a lot of the stuff it does looks really nifty, sure, I remember watching the keynote, and then I watched it again, and I remember watching it with this question in my head. What will this device do that I currently cannot do? Because I can watch a TV show in my living room. I can look at photos in my photo library. I can have FaceTime calls with people. And so again, I watch this keynote asking the question, what will this allow me to do that I currently cannot do? <clears throat> the answer was nothing. You can pick apps with your eyes. O okay, that's great. I can do it more effectively with my computer that does it. But by the way, has a much more powerful processor can do things a lot faster and a lot better. Uh, you can watch movies. Well, okay, that's great, but I have to do it with this stupid looking device strapped to my face. And I've got a pretty damn good home viewing experience right now. Well, you can do, uh, and I get, listen, and I'm not saying that a lot of the things that this new Apple Vision Pro does doesn't look like a lot of fun, because it does. I mean, I'm looking forward to trying it out. I, I think it looks like a lot of fun. They show you pictures like this, and you have visions of, what's the name of that Tom Cruise movie? Oh, um, right. Uh, the one he did with Steven Spielberg. Mm -hmm. uh, minority, this, minority, minority. Minority Report, right? Yeah. We got visions of, like, Minority Report, or we're going to be freaking Tony Stark going, eh, <laughs> he, he, like, yeah, that looks really cool and really fun. It does. I'm not, I'm not sitting here trying to trash on the Apple Vision Pro whatsoever. I think it looks like a lot of fun, and I'm looking forward to somebody buying me one so I can try it, because I sure as hell ain't paying $3,500 for it, but I think it looks like a blast. Now, let's go back again to the analogy or comparing it to can this somehow disrupt the movie going experience? Look, history has already shown us every single time a new piece of technology comes out that makes people think this is going to disrupt movie going. It actually doesn't. We've been through this like 10 times already. Because at the end of the day, regardless of how good the Apple VR Pro is, it cannot replace what going to the movie theater is. Going to the movie theaters for me, and I've said this ever since the days of the movie blog, besides the fact that you get the biggest image, not something that looks like it's the biggest image, but actually is the biggest image, the best sound and all that kind of stuff. But ever since the days of the movie blog for me, movie going is always about this. It's an event. It's an event. Every day that I wake up in the morning knowing I'm going to the movies that night, I just get out of bed happy because I know I'm going to the movies. Tonight, me, Ray, our buddy Ryan, we're going to the movies tonight, and I'm excited. I'm excited about that we're seeing Transformers Rise of the Beast, but I'm just excited that we're going out. We're going out to the movies together. I love going into the, into the theater, into the lobby, and seeing all these people there that are excited about going into things. I love sitting in this big, giant room with hundreds of other people as we cheer and laugh and gasp and sometimes cry and whatever together. That is where the magic of the movie happens. So while the Apple Vision Pro, I think will do a lot to really influence and maybe disrupt a bit of the home viewing experience, it still can't do squat about coming close to actually replic replicating, let alone replacing, the actual movie going experience. Because those are experiential events. 
And yes, technology like this is great, and I get excited about it and want to use it, but at the same time, there are certain things that it cannot do and it cannot replace. And so, no, in the long run, I think we're going to see a lot of people, and, and honestly, I think this is what's going to happen. We've seen this happen a lot. A new piece of technology comes out, at least technology that doesn't do new things that other things can't do, and everybody gets really excited about it, and everybody talks about it a lot and all this kind of stuff, and then three months later, nobody's talking about it again. I gave the example the other day that my wife bought me this great drone and I loved it. And I used that drone like every day for the first two weeks I had it. And then the other day I realized it's still sitting on my shelf and I haven't touched it in like nine months. And I'm not saying that's what the Apple Vision Pro will necessarily be, but we'll have to keep our eye on it. We want to thank a sponsor of this video, Mint Mobile. From the gas pump to the grocery store, your utility bills and favorite streaming services, inflation is everywhere. Seriously, make it stop. Thankfully, there's one company out there that's giving you a much needed break. It's Mint Mobile. As the first company to sell premium wireless service online only, Mint Mobile lets you order from home and save a ton with phone plans starting at just $15 a month. You guys know that ever since I switched to Mint Mobile, I've been saving almost 70% a month over my old phone plan. For people looking for extra savings this year, Mint Mobile offers premium wireless for just $15 a month. By going online only and eliminating the traditional cost of retail, Mint Mobile passes the significant savings on to you. All of their plans come with unlimited talk and text plus high-speed data delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and keep your same phone number along with all your existing contacts. Switch to Mint Mobile and get premium wireless service starting at just 15 bucks a month. To get your new wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month and get the plan shipped to your door for free, go to mintmobile.com slash campia. That's mintmobile.com slash campia. Cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash campia. Anyway, guys, that's my thoughts on will the Apple Vision Pro disrupt the movie going experience? I think it can disrupt the home viewing experience, but it just can't do anything about what the actual movie going experience gives us. And I don't think that can be replaced. But maybe you feel that way. Maybe you don't. Are you going to spend $3,500 to go out and get a new Apple Vision Pro? If so, can I borrow it? Because I sure as hell would like to try it. Whatever you guys think about this, jump down into the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. Hey guys, thanks for checking out this video. Listen, if you like our content, make sure you check out our daily podcast, the John Campia Show podcast, available on Apple, Spotify, and your favorite podcasting app of choice.